Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of Shenanigans Guy Plays the Legend of Hyrule Tries the Cold Steel. We are continuing on after rescuing Usus and all that Brayhard stuff and going on to the uh, Tuesday of July? June? June. June 16th. And it's it raining. was the middle of June. With summer well underway, a rainy spell seemed to hang over Trista. With our field study wrapped up, the other members of Class 7 and I returned to normal school life. But just when we thought we'd gotten used to the challenging lessons and the breakneck workload, a moment of dread washed over us, making our blood run cold. As you all know, tomorrow marks the start of your midterm exams. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, sorry about that. I hit the mic with my headphone. <laughs> I knew that he was talking about the midterms, but man, he put it in such a climactic, like, end of the world way. It was amazing. I'm no good with all these papers and essays and circling answers, so I won't really be able to help you much. But I'm administering some of your tests, so I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Make me proud, class. Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. As I recall, aren't you in danger of a lecture by the vice principal if our performance isn't up to par? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Most of you tend to get pretty high grades anyway. I can hardly wait to see how well you all do. Remember, the results will be announced next Wednesday. Your scores will be posted on the board by rank, so you can see how you compare to the other classes in your year. Oh, the sooner this week is over, the better. I can almost taste the tedium. I'm not gonna let Emma squeak by me again this time. <laughs> oh, one more thing. They're gonna stick the average score for each class up there on the board, too. Our class averages? I suppose their intent is to furnish us with motivation in the form of class bragging rights. Well, I do enjoy a challenge. Anyway, I know it's only noonish, but I think that's enough homeroom for today. You guys can stay here and study, or just head on back to your dorms. Up to you. Prez, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. Stand, bow. Jeez, what should we, what should I do? I could stand to bone up to on just about everything, honestly, but my biggest worry right now is math. I wouldn't mind doing a few study sessions with you, if you think it would help. I need to review math anyway. I'm not sure how much time I'll be able to spare, though. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. My biggest weak spot is in Erebonian history, I guess. I doubt that comes as a huge surprise to anyone. I think I understand all the material we've gone over directly in class, but there are a few finer points. I can aid you with that, if you'd like. Though in return, I'd appreciate a fresh, fresh pair of eyes to help revise my military science essay. It'd be my pleasure. Would you like to study with me, Fee? I guess so. Oh, would you two mind if I jumped in too? I could use a little refresher on, the, on my classics. Of course, you're more than welcome. Would you like to join us, Laura? No, I... I appreciate your invitation, but I'll have to pass this time. There's a subject I need to review in private. I'll see you all later. No, don't leave, Laura. Huh? What's up with her? Hmm, dots. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but I could have sworn I saw her looking over at Fee. Hey, Reed? Eh, what is it? You headed back to the dorms? You're totally welcome to come study with us if you want. Hmm, I wasn't planning on heading straight back. I might come and join you guys a bit later. Alright then, perhaps we'll see you later. The day before the exams is a free day. Talking to certain characters will allow you to study with them. 
When you run out of bonding points, the time of the day will change to evening and the main story will advance. So, there's quite a list of things for us to do here. Um, if you do not hit all of the little hidden things and... Ah, so, let, let me back up. So, there's a bunch of like hidden things to do, like people to talk to, books to read, etc, etc. If you do not hit all of those points, then you will not get full points for the exams come tomorrow. So, it is very important that we hit all of those up. Um, the bonding points we are going to use last. Um, because we don't want to accidentally advance the day before we get the other stuff done. Um, there's some new character profiles as well. Uh, I don't know if we're missing any of them, but we're going to go talk to the people just to make sure, just in case. Um, and here, uh, Clara. Is there really any need to study for those tests? It should be easy enough to get a decent grade without the panicked scramble of study. That's quite the claim. I go to the classes. It shouldn't be too hard to get a decent grade. So instead of wasting my time cramming, I'm going to focus on my art. Which is coming along nicely, I must say. Alright, so we talked to Claire. Uh, now we got to talk to Teresa in the library. Um, this way. And notice how we cannot run faster than this when it's raining outside. So we're going to use turbo mode instead. Yeah. What are you doing with that umbrella, Margaret? Mar Margarita? There's a famous saying about days like these. Margaritas always go down smoothest in the rain. That's why I'm so tantalizing when the dark clouds roll in. But just look. Don't touch. I think I've hit my limit, actually. <laughs> oh, man. She's an interesting one. All right, library. We need to talk to Teresa. Who's Teresa? Which one of you is Teresa? That's Emily. Teresa. This is so hard, Teresa. Help me. Come now. Don't give up so quickly. The two of us will get through these together, one by one. Hee <laughs> hee, you really are hopeless when it comes to studying, aren't you? Gee, thanks for the reminder. Hee <laughs> hee, the difference between the way she's acting now and her reliable persona as lacrosse club captain is rather funny. I think Elisa and Ferris's perception of her would be shattered if they saw her like this. <laughs> uh, so Teresa... Um... Oh yes! This is why the milk is important. Yes, I'm using a handy dandy gag. Now, seriously though, how is that not obviously a female cat? Like, it still bugs me that Reen didn't realize that it was a female cat at first. Like, that is very obviously a female cat. Anyway, I digress. How'd that cat manage to get in here? Aha, I guess it must have been looking for somewhere to get out of the rain. Actually, I have some fresh milk on me. Should I give her some? Yes, let's give her some fresh milk. Green gave her fresh milk. Hearts! Very happy cat. No, it's still mad at us. Aha, uh -huh. she seems so happy. Maybe I'll bring her some more another time. Yeah, maybe we will. All right, so we've done that. None of the shops are accessible. I love how the bench just disappears. Disappearing bench. Magic. <laughs> Magic! Um, all right, so we talked to Cat. Can't go to any of the shops at the moment. 
Um, that's why you have to purchase it in Chapter 2, because you can't get it from these shops. Uh, so you have to already have it in your inventory. My first playthrough, I did not have it, so I missed that first interaction. Okay, so now we do the things for study. Uh, first things first, we talk to Instructor Thomas. Oh, hello there. Did you come along to review some of what we covered in class? Actually, I was just passing by. Hee hee hee. Oh, come now. There's no need to be shy. Not when it comes to history. Let's get started, shall we? Why don't we go over every little thing that might possibly come up on your exam? This sounds like it could be helpful if I actually stay awake. Increased your knowledge of Erebonian history. Thank you, Instructor Thomas. Uh, political Economics, a primer. Is it this bookshelf? A book entitled Political Economics, a Primer sits primly on the shelf. Given the subject matter, this book seems really accessible. This would probably make for a good refresher. Increased your knowledge of political economics. Um, now, to the gym. To the gymnasium. And we can't run, so we gotta use the turbo mode. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Gymnasium. Uh, aha! Look at that! A book! A book entitled Military Science, a Primer, sits upon bench like a courageous commander. Lip. This is one well written book. The illustrations really bring things to life, too. Wait a second. This probably belongs to someone. Nobody would leave a book like this behind, so I'm sure they'll be back soon. I'll just leave this here. Increased your knowledge of military science. Let's see. Uh, now we gotta go talk to Becky. Wait a minute. Where's Laura? Is she in the gym? I mean, in the pool? Nope, pool's closed. Okay, never mind. You must study. You cannot swim. Study. But, but, I, I just, I just want to extra, no, study. Sounds very much like school. Turbo mode. Becky. Uh, is this Becky? This is Becky, yes. Uh, shut it, Hugo. I'm not talking, I'm not taking any advice for you. Uh, I can memorize everything in one go the night before. Becky, 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 you won't be able to remember anything that way. The trick to memorize is to study up just before you go to bed. When you wake up, you review everything once more to seal the deal. It's easy, it's efficient, and best of all, it works. I guarantee it! You should try it too, Reen. Uh, might as well give it a shot, thanks. You learned an efficient new memorization method. Yes, that does actually work for some people. I'm working today as well. I just need to do a wee bit of cramming the day before and I'll be sorted. The last thing I'm doing is taking advice for Higa. Hugo. 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 Uh, Higa. Hugo. Ah! Tongue twisters. Um, Instructor Mary! Building one. Uh, infirmary. This way? This is the infirmary, right? Yes, it is. Instructor Mary. These will be your very first midterms, won't they? Hee <laughs> hee, I have to admit, I'm a little nervous too. This is the first time I've come up with the questions for them. You should be fine as long as you study up on everything we've covered in class. Don't be afraid to ask questions either. Ask! There were a couple of art history things I needed cleared up, actually. Oh my! A student is really relying on me for help? What a pleasant surprise. Art evolved in very complex ways. Oh, art evolved in very complex ways during the Middle Ages, you see. Increased your knowledge of art. Uh, 
ahead. Next is Instructor Makarov. You probably know this already, but the faculty lounge is off limits while exams are going on. If you want to see a teacher, you've got to knock on the door and ask. Uh, you got something you want to ask me? Yes. I've actually got an Orville Science question to ask you. Figures. Tell me what's what you've got. Show me what's got you stumped. I'll get you up to speed. Increase your knowledge of Orville Science. Uh, now... The Fancier Guide to Erebonian Opera and Painting on the second floor. To the music room! Uh, that's the art room. This is the music room? It's home ec room. This is the music room. Uh, right here. A book entitled The Fancier's Guide to Erebony Erebonian Opera and Paintings sits pompously upon the shelf. Why would one book cover such different topics? Still, it'll probably cover some of the stuff on our exams. Wouldn't hurt to give it a read. Increased your knowledge of art. Now, Barrel, main building rooftop. Oh, what's up, Paris? Studying for exams? Ha! Surely you jest. Excellent grades come naturally to me. There is no need for something as common as studying. That's just the nature of nobility, after all. We have gifts that mere commoners cannot fathom. But you've got pencil marks all over your hands. <laughs> your imagination is playing tricks on you. If you let it lead you any further, you might imply that I've been studying in secret just to show Elisa up. I think you've implied that yourself, Ferris. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way, Colette? Let me just move for you. As she creepily stares at you without telling you you're in her way. What's up, Barrel? Hee <laughs> hee I love the rain. Uh, let me let you in on a little secret. I don't even need to study thanks to a special little trick of mine. <laughs> Page 44 will be on our Orville Science exam. This is certain. This is fate. You're just making things up now. But what if she does have some sort of special powers? I mean, it couldn't hurt to study that page. Just in case. Your knowledge of... Increased your knowledge of Orville Science. Um... By the way... Ah, stop moving, Barrel. Ah, stop moving. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I guess it's just me. I thought I saw geometric patterns in her eyes, and I was really confused for a minute there. I was like, oh, that could be something! But they're not there. I was just seeing things, I guess. Uh, next, we talk to Lind, who is at the Student Union Building. Yes, there is a lot of stuff you can talk to all these characters about, but if I did all of that, we would be here for literal extra hours. And I don't think any of us want to do that. Plus, it takes a little bit. If you guys want to go play the game at some point, then I can't spoil everything for you. Um, Lind. Lind? That's who? Yeah, Lind. Studying is so boring. But Reen here might make things interesting. In fact, I've got a great idea. Why don't we have a little Q&A competition? Every time someone gets a question wrong, they have to take off an article of clothing. Seriously? I'm not doing that. Never in a million years. Oh, okay. Guess we won't be studying at all then. Uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> as long as everyone keeps their clothes on, I'm fine with helping you to study. It'd probably help me too. Studied material that might be on the exam. Uh, she's dangerous. Uh, let's see. Next. Erebonian history in pictures. Uh, to the literature club. 
Ah, stuck on a post. Is this the literature club? Yes, it is. Uh, ah, glowing. A book entitled Erebonian History and Pictures is on the shelf. What is this? It's more like a comic book than a traditional textbook. It does seem historically accurate, though. It can't hurt to give it a read. Increased your knowledge of Erebonian history. Now. That is the thing. Those are the things that we needed to do. Um, we will now have a maximum AP for the upcoming midterms. Um, if we answer the midterm questions correct, that is. There are questions we have to answer. Um, but you would be rewarded like only a small amount of the AP possible from the midterms without doing those. Um, so, yeah. Definitely important. I'm just uh, checking my handy dandy handy dandy notebook not my handy dandy guide um, hmm okay that was confusing me because it was listed in a different area alright so that comes up later uh that comes up later. That comes up later. Okay. Um, so, all we have to do now are the bonding events. Oh, so let us go do the bonding events. Uh, first one, we'll do Elisa and Laura, who are in the gymnasium. Uh, yeah, it's this one. Gymnasium, y'all. Let us go. Uh, top floor, I believe they're at. Uh, over here. Yes, over here. What's up, guys? Oh, are you two studying? Lisa probably met up with Laura because she was worried about her. Yeah, we both figured we had a lot of art to brush up on. And it's probably not our most important subject in the grand scheme of things, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I've never had to deal with a serious... A, oh, I've never had to deal with a series of exams right in a row like this. Laziness could very well be tantamount to failure. Would you like to join us, Reen? Ah, don't mind if I do. Can I sit next to Laura? I accidentally skipped that. Um, yeah. The exam's supposed to be focused on the basics of illustration, right? You got it. Let's get started. How about you ask the first question, Reen? Sure. Well, I don't get to sit next to Laura, but at least this way I can see her face better. Uh, yeah. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, first question. Elisa, what is a desin? I think it's a drawing that makes use of a monochrome lines of varying heaviness to highlight the way light hits its subject. You think correctly. So, Laura, what exactly is a sketch? A sketch portrays its subject roughly, with very little in the way of detail. I suppose it could be likened to an early first draft of a drawing. That's right, sketches and desins are basically two sides of the same coin, since both are used to start a painting. The big difference is that desins usually take some time to finish, whereas sketches are pretty quick. Desins or desins? I think it's desins. But there's a method that's even quicker and more basic than sketching. Any ideas, Lore? Hmm. That would be... Croquet? Cro croquet? I think that's croquet. Uh, croquet, I believe. You two know your stuff, but maybe that just means we should be using harder questions to study with. Hmm, let me see if I can find some... Hey, Reen, if you want, I can ask the next set of questions. It's hardly effective studying if you don't get to answer any questions yourself. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just give me a minute here. I'll find you a really good one. Well, if you insist. Uh -huh. Maybe we should have expected this. He really is a kind-hearted person. And so, the three continued their art study session. Your bond with Elisa has strengthened. 
Your bond with Laura has strengthened. Yay. Let's talk to Laura again. The non-martial arts... The non-martial arts aren't exactly my forte, so a little extra studying might be in my best interest. Uh, I mustn't get distracted by other issues. So there is something on her mind, then. Tours was founded with the hope of training up students to excel with both pen and the sword. I want to perform to my full potential on these midterms, so I can't afford to let other issues cloud my concentration. Oh, Laura. She's really not being intentionally petty, but I digress. We'll learn more about what's going on at a later time. Uh, Emma and Fee, who are in the student union building. Oh yeah, I remember seeing them. Might go a little over 30 minutes today, but we're going to do all except one of the um, bonding events. Are the two of you going over Aronian history? I can't memorize things like this, because it's all pointless. Fee, that seems a little harsh. Oh, I know. Why don't you join us, Reen? I'm sure it would be studying more enjoyable- would make studying more enjoyable for Fee, too. Sure, let's do it. That sounds like a good idea to me. The exam's going to be focused on the War of Lions, right? That's right. Shall we start from the beginning, then? From the beginning we shall. After that, Dracul's gathered soldiers in the Nord Highlands. And in the year 952 of the Septian calendar, he liberated the capital, bringing the war to an end. Excellent! Well done, Fee. I guess it's stuck. He, incidentally, the war came to an end in July of that year, which is next month, so that's easy to remember. They say it was raining in Heimdall that day, but legend has it that the moment Emperor Dracul stepped into the city, the rain stopped. Huh, that's neat. Yeah, that seems like a story that'll stick in my memory. Huh, you're a pretty good teacher, aren't you? Well, I'm always using tricks like these to help me remember things. If you're having fun whilst, while you study, it makes it that much easier for the material to stick in your memory. That is true. Interesting, so that's your method. Well, if you can do it, we can do it too. Shall we finish the stuff off then? Please. Reen stayed with Emma and Fee for a while longer, making sure they knew their Erebonian history back to front. Your bond with Emma strengthened. Your bond with Fee strengthened. Link level 5. Link level 5. Yes, we are way over Link level. I hate that it doesn't show us Link level for Laura and Elisa, though. It's really annoying. Uh, probably just a bug. Um, fortunately, the patch doesn't fix that one. Uh, Gaius and Eusis are next. They are on the second floor of the school. Ah! I was still holding the turbo button. Whoops. Why can't I talk? Ah! Ah, there we go. Oh, are the two of you studying military science? Looks like you guys are tearing through things, too. Huh, more or less. You caught us just as we reached the section on military symbols. Care to join us? Yes, I do. Sure, couldn't hurt. I didn't know a thing about military science until we entered the academy, so I'm not feeling terribly confident. It's not as though most schools teach military minute alongside literature and math. We're all in the same boat here. This game makes me feel extremely unintelligent. I have no idea what the heck that word is. Either way. We'd be happy to have another person to paddle. Have a seat. If there's an awkward silence, it's because I'm drinking water. Then let's begin. Map marking symbols are used to represent an assortment of different units and formations. This is the symbol for infantry. Yes, yes it is. Reen, try to draw the symbol for headquarters from memory. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure it's this. Gaius, think you can draw the symbol for an armored troop? Sure, this should be it. Now I have a tough one for you. What does this symbol mean? Hmm. Uh, would that be an... Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. Oh, oh, that makes sense. That's an engineer, right? You got it. Phew. There's so much to memorize for this class, and the fact that we're going in blind makes it even worse. These seem like the raw basics, too. Given that not all of us will end up involving, involved with the military, it does seem a little excessive. But bear in mind that our military science class is to teach us how to deal with harsh situations efficiently. In that sense, there's plenty to learn, even if we never find ourselves on a battlefield. That's probably why it's mandatory. If it, if it could save our lives, we owe it to ourselves to do well then. Ha, huh, agreed. Eusis, Gaius, and Reen stayed together for a while longer, continuing to test each other on military science. Your bond with Eusis strengthened. Your bond with Gaius strengthened. Link level 5. Link level 5. So close to being able to say it. Do you know what I'm referring to? We just need a couple more bonding events for Gaius, and then we will be there. Probably won't hit it in this playthrough, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Library. Elliot and Machias. One of the other Let's Players I follow on YouTube, um, Kronos. He does really good Let's Plays, um, so feel free to watch his stuff. Um, but I was watching him play this game, and he kept calling Mac Machias Machias, and every now and then, he almost has me doing the same thing. Like, in the dialogue, they would call him Machias, and immediately afterward, he would be like, Machias. It would drive me nuts. It was really funny, but it would, it would drive me nuts. And then I started calling him Machias myself, and I was like, no, he has me doing it now. Oh, but yeah, it's Machias. Oh, so this is where you are. Wow, when you guys study, you two don't mess around. <laughs> well... No better motivator than fear, right? Our exams start tomorrow and we've got to know our over science. I want to make sure I study as much as I can as I possibly can before then. There's no such thing as too prepared. Besides, this is our last chance to get a full day of studying in. How about it, Reen? Up for one last marathon study session? Yes! Sure, I'll join you guys for a while. Orbital science isn't quite my forte anyway. In that case, let's get started with the basics. Sounds good to me. So, orbital energy is generated by septium, right? And it differs from other types of energy in that it replenishes itself over time. It's hard to imagine what life would be like without it. Orbital energy is in everything. Lighting, railways, telephones, battle orbments. That segues nicely into our next topic. Let's talk about battle orbments. Their first key feature is their portability. The second is their ability to synchronize with their user, allowing them to easily use orbital arts, magic for the everyman. Feature 3 is their flexibility. A battle orbment's capabilities can change dramatically based on the courts within. <laughs> that somewhere wouldn't have been more perfect if we read it out of the textbook. That's our Machias. I can't believe you could rattle off all that without even stopping to think. I can't even read it without stopping to think. I mean, seriously. <laughs> but if you already have the basics down, are you just trying to help me instead of focusing on what you really need to study? Uh, no, it's not that. Reciting the information I've learned like this helps it stick in my memory. <clears throat> it might look flashy, but this is really productive studying for me too. Well, everyone needs a method. As I said earlier, it's not possible to be too prepared. And while we still have a lot of ground to cover in our Orbital Science review, I would appreciate it if you would help me study for a few others when we're done. Aha, uh -huh, of course. I'd be happy to. Really? Well, thanks. Aw, shucks, guys. Reen, Machis, and Elliot continued their Orbital Science studies, feeling much more confident about the exam every minute. Your bond with Elliot strengthened. Your bond with Machis strengthened. Link level 5. Link level 5. It's kind of embarrassing. You can tell which characters I uh, don't spend as much investment into. Anyway, 
one more bonding event. We will talk to Toa, and then we will end it there. And our final bonding event when we pick up next time will be uh, Crow in the engineering building. Oh, hi, Reen. How goes the studying? Ah, I suppose it's probably fine. Uh, but these are going to be my first midterms ever, so I'm more than a little nervous. Ah, first years. How innocent. It doesn't help that military academies have a lot of subjects that other schools don't, but you'll get used to it. That's true. Combat studies and military science, to name two. Oh, and you're going to want to make sure that you're ready for the political economics exam, too. Why is that? Well, it's mustache man's subject. That's not a very nice thing to call Principal Heinrich Angie. He does seem like the type to write a ridiculously hard exam. Oh, I know. How about I give you a hand studying for it? If you're free, at least. Are you sure? Of course. You're always helping me out, right? Hey, political economics is Toa's strongest subject. You would you wouldn't want to pass this up. Yes, let's do it. Well, if you're offering, I'd really appreciate it. I sure am. Let's get started, then. Thus, Reen and Toa's study session began. Most of the stuff I was unsure about makes a lot more sense now. Hey, that's good to hear. Hmm, we should probably go over some current affairs, too. For an exam? Yeah, the vice principal has a habit of putting questions based on recent news into his exams. This year, hmm, maybe we should go over some recently enacted laws? Yeah, that sounds like the kind of thing he'd put in there. Just so most people could be caught off guard, get it wrong, and get lectured at for being indifferent about society. I'd rather avoid that. Recent laws, recent laws, recent laws. The Financial Transactions Act from last year is one of the best known, I suppose. It requires you to inform prospective buyers of the risks when selling them stocks or securities. A number of people have suffered massive losses buying shares lately, so it was passed to keep people informed. Hmm. So that's the history behind the Financial Transactions Act. Then there's the Imperial Transportation Act, which determines the rules of the road for drivers. That was last year, too. There are more and more people buying cars lately, nobles and commoners. But car accidents were getting out of hand. And that was especially true in Heimdall, which is why that law was enacted there first. I'll have to try and remember that. And then there's the Provincial Taxation Act, which impacted just about every province you could think of. In other words, a fancy name for the much... Re much revealed... Re reviled? Much reviled? tax increases? They're being enacted in the provinces, almost doubling land and business taxes. You've probably at least heard about them. I have, yeah. It seems like a pretty major topic back in Celtic. If he's going to set a question about a recent law, it's probably going to be about one of these three. Hopefully that'll be some help at least. Even if none of them come up, you've really helped me out. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. Thank you both for all your help. Huh, I didn't do anything at all. I'm just hanging out. If there's anything else you want to know, just let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thanks, I will. Your bond with Stoa? Toa, Stoa. Ah! Your bond with Toa has strengthened. Anyway, uh, on that embarrassing note, uh, we are going to end this episode right here. And when we pick up next time, we will have our bonding event with Crow and then take our exams. And then after that, we'll see where it flows. Um, we may have time for some other things after that. We may not. We'll see. Anyway, um, without further ado, I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.